What's going on there, folks? Good morning, uh, good afternoon. It is the Earth Master here on this Tuesday, March 8th, 2022 date, about 10.50 a.m. California time here along the West Coast. Latest quake shows a, a uh, 3.1 earthquake into the South America region, right around the Chile area. Been seeing a pretty good swarm of activity there into the Peru-Chile Trench overnight with some deeper movement taking place there in that area of South America. Let's go ahead and check out latest movement here on the USGS map. Of the uh, 2.5 and above earthquake activity, of course, uh, USGS showing 4.0 and above. Shows a couple earthquakes here into, into the uh, Peru-Chile Trench around the Argentina area, 4.3 at 218 kilometers. Also, uh, some movement up around the Puerto Rico Trench here and the Trinidad-Tobago uh, area. Seeing a, uh, what's this one up here, 4.3 earlier uh, this morning, it looks like, in that area. Go ahead and bring the all magnitudes up here so we can see what we got for the uh, uh, the movement up here. Of course, Haiti had an uh, earthquake way west here uh, last night. Haven't seen any subsequent uh, movement in that region. Uh, same for the uh, Puerto Rico area, south southwest edge of Puerto Rico. Kind of calming down a little bit uh, in terms of the uh, multitudes of quakes here overnight. Uh, what do we got up here in the States? Some further activity off the coast here into the Blanco fracture zone, kind of around the area where we've seen that swarming. This 3.3 uh, struck last night. Uh, no subsequent activity here today. A little bit of movement though into Northern California where we're starting to see that a uh, little bit of surface quaking strike up here. Although this 2.4 uh, at 23.6 kilometers is somewhat deep. But you gotta remember uh, the tremor activity that we've seen last night and over the last uh, few nights let's go ahead and well let's go ahead and show you guys real quick the trimmer map here in the northern california uh, southern end of the cascadia was about 128 epicenters here although that doesn't look like 128 there it's a little on the odd side i don't know if there's 128 mixed into that uh into this view or not but uh okay 128 epicenters of trimmer uh and then again like i said in northern california this is further inland but further down dip of this earthquake activity that we're seeing uh, this morning here off of Eureka, uh, just to the northeast of Eureka, the tremor activity occurring roughly around this region here. But got to remember, uh, the further inland that you go here into the uh, North American continent is the uh, the further down dip you go into the subduction zone. So a little bit of back building pressure upstream from the tremor activity uh, today. We're seeing that uh, earthquake activity happen there with a 2.4 in that area of Northern California. Up here, also outside of Mount Shasta, a little bit of movement uh, near Tenant, California, looks like uh, 1.9 at uh, 9.2 kilometers. But I expect as long as we're continuing to see the trimmer in the Northern California, some further back building of pressure uh, and possible return of activity up here along the swarming area that we've seen a couple months ago in the Blanco fracture zone and also down here off the coast of Eureka. So we'll see how that plays out today. Uh, a little bit of movement around Mount St. Helens and Mount Rainier. Nothing significant, no major swarmings to take note of in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, a little bit of activity throughout the eastern part of Sierra Nevada. And uh, in general, though, Southern California looks pretty quiet. I don't see any red circles here in the last hour of uh, earthquake activity. Uh, some movement out here around El Centro, uh, California. Uh, just... Um, some microquakes there in a little swarm fashion uh, pretty deep though at about 10 or 11 kilometers one of those earthquakes stretching down to about 12 so some deep movement down there off the imperial fault zone uh, which sits just to the east of that swarming area uh, nevada utah up through uh, wyoming not a whole big deal of earthquake activity today let's check out the latest yellowstone map see what we got cooking out here into the yellowstone super volcano not a whole lot today uh, no major swarming. I don't even see any ice quakes to really take note of. Uh, so it looks like just a uh, typical day into the region. Maybe a little bit of s very small uh, quakes there into the borehole area. But uh, it's about the quiet quietest it's been here in the past several days. Eastern part of the country throughout uh, Oklahoma. Seen some activity scattered out there. And this earthquake out here around the New Madrid zone is from uh, uh, last night, a little 1.9. A 
little bit of swarming activity out around the Aleutian Trench. Been watching this area uh, over the past couple days here. Some seen some deeper movement as well into the subduction zone of the Pacific and North American plate boundary there. Um, but kind of, kind of just uh, keeping an eye on things up here through this region. What do we got for Hawaii? Big Island, Hawaii. Uh, even here, not uh, nothing showing up here on the red in the red circles indicating uh, no recent earthquake activity in the last hour uh, Mona Loa is showing some swarming a little little bit right nine earthquakes uh, in the microquake department uh, all below the 2.0 uh, looks like they're all below 2.0 threshold they're around just to the west of the uh, the uh, crater area up here uh, in Mona Loa on the big island so I'm watching that <clears throat> as well Let's see what else we got. Uh, <clears throat> losing my voice again. Goodness. Of course, there's nothing coffee can't fix. Uh, what else we got here? Japan Trench, Carl, uh, Carl Kamchaka Trench, all pretty quiet today. One little earthquake off the coast here into the uh, Japan Trench, 4.4 at 10 kilometers. Philippine Plate, for the most part, looks pretty quiet. A little bit of activity here around Taiwan and the western part of the uh, Philippine Plate. But uh, overall, general seismic activity up there in the Pacific, uh, into the uh, northwest part of the Pacific Plate, pretty quiet. We did have a 4.0 into the um, New Zealand area, around Bulls, New Zealand. This one pretty deep. Looks like, uh, I'm guessing this here is into the uh, Hikurangi subduction zone, uh, 104.3 kilometers for that earthquake. I notice they have been having a little swarm of activity up and down the New Zealand region over the past couple days. Uh, that looks like the latest quake here, the most recent quake uh, to strike that area. Like I said, it looks kind of like it's at right smack dab into the Hikurangi subduction zone. Let's go ahead and check out the GeoNet server real quick. I'm not going to spend too much time on this update, uh, but uh, yeah, 3.9. What do we got here? These guys, USGS reporting a 4.0. The uh, GeoNet reporting a 3.9 earthquake uh, two hours ago. So a little bit of a downgrade from those folks there. Depth of about 64 kilometers. And uh, activity, most of it from yesterday. Uh, some older activity, 4.0 down south here in the South Island re region as well. Uh, let's see what else we got outside of here. Uh, we did see a little bit of further adjustment down here in the uh, South Pacific Ocean. Of course, remember we had that deep subsequent uh, uh, Fiji quake there a couple days ago, 6.1, super deep quake. And of course, uh, adjustments and whatnot making their way known to the west, where we've seen the uptick, uh, a little bit of activity in Australia and also down in uh, the New Zealand region. We haven't seen any further large scale movement throughout the Indonesia area or the Solomon Islands, uh, which we kind of expect to see when we see that westward shift of the Pacific plate, just kind of not there. But uh, that doesn't mean something's not building up. Java Trench has been pretty quiet, uh, normally pretty active around this region. But yeah, 5.5 um, at 10 kilometers out there in the South Pacific Ocean. Uh, throughout China, all other areas look fairly quiet for the most part up here in the Middle East. Uh, seen some activity ramp up here around the, the um, Jan Mayan area. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. Uh, majority of that was from last night, a couple of wars kicking up there north of Iceland. Uh, one little earthquake there just popping up into the Puerto Rico area, 2.5 right now on the uh, earthquake map. But uh, overall, just general seismic activity today kind of looks um, looks a little on the uh, on the quiet side today, that's for sure. Uh, let's see what we got going on on the sun here, real quick. And 15% um, chance of an M flare looks like a little bit of elevation. Uh, elevated level there, 80% chance of a sea flare, but uh, man, not a whole lot going on. Green across the board for the three-day ge geomagnetic forecast. There are some sunspots, but they uh, look pretty stable. They're big. They're huge. Definitely 2960, pretty big there, but uh, I don't know. I don't think this thing's going to pop off anything significant with the uh, stability and dynamics here looking at this, uh, this chart, but uh, we'll see, right? The sun's been known to pop off some stuff even when uh, uh, we think that it shouldn't. All right, folks, I'm going to jump off here because I keep this a little short right now, but uh, uh, we'll be back a little bit later on this evening with a complete update.
Make sure you subscribe while you're here for uh, notifications. Click that uh, notification bell. Uh, we can get notified when we go live and whenever we post an update video here when it comes to the ongoing earthquake activity out here around the world. Have a good day, folks. Enjoy your Monday. It's supposed to be about 75 degrees here in uh, Northern California. So I'm going to get outside and enjoy the, uh, enjoy the sunshine. Have a good day, folks. Peace out.